The CH-53C Stallion is a family of heavy lift transport helicopters designed and built by Sikorsky Aircraft. The dimensionally similar CH-53E Super Stallion is a heavier lifting, improved version designated S-80E by Sikorsky. In 1960, the United States Marine Corps began to seek a replacement for their HR-2S piston-powered helicopters. In March 1962, the United States Navy's Bureau of Naval Weapons, acting on behalf of the Marines, issued a request for a heavy helicopter experimental HHX. It was also specified to possess a higher top speed and greater lifting capacity than existing helicopters while also having a lower empty weight than preceding designs as well. In response, Boeing Vertol offered a modified version of the CH-47 Chinook. Cayman Aircraft offered a development of the British Ferry Rotodyne compound helicopter, and Sikorsky offered what amounted to a scaled-up version of the S61R, with twin General Electric T64 turboshaft engines and the dynamic system of the S64, CH-54, to be designated the S65. During the previous month, the Marines had already placed an initial production contract for 16 helicopters. The helicopters had more powerful T64 GE413 turboshafts installed and received the designation RH-53A. The United States Air Force ordered the HH-53B in September 1966 and it first flew on 15 March 1967. The U.S. Navy also acquired CH-53D-based helicopters for minesweeping. In 1989, some of the CH-53 as being retired by the Marines were passed on to the U.S. Air Force for training, with these helicopters redesignated TH-53 as. The Sikorsky CH-53C Stallion is a heavy-lift military transport helicopter. While the Sea Stallion's fuselage is watertight, the helicopter is not intended for amphibious use and its ability to land on water is meant to only be used in emergency situations. To save space, which is normally at a premium on board most naval vessels, both the tail boom and the rotors can be folded while the helicopter is stowed. To reduce the workload involved in this process, an automated folding system was developed by Sikorsky. U.S. Air Force HH-53 Super Jolly Green Giants were the primary search and rescue helicopter in Southeast Asia between 1967 and 1975, inserted the Operation Ivory Coast Rescue Team into the North Vietnamese prison camp at Sun Tay in 1970, and carried the Marines and Air Force security forces who attempted to rescue the crew of SS Mayaguez. Several CH-53D helicopters will be retained for the 3rd Marine Regiment for training. In August 1968, an Israeli Air Force delegation visited Sikorsky's Connecticut plant while seeking information to select the service's next assault helicopter. The delegation was looking for a helicopter with augmented payload carry capacity, highly maneuverable and robust, that could survive direct hits from different caliber projectiles. They examined Boeing's CH-47 Chinook and Sikorsky's CH-53, it was recognized that the latter was both larger and stronger than any of the IAF's other helicopters, and thus represented a major advancement in terms of capability. On 2 October 1969, the first S-65C-3 helicopters were delivered to Israel of an initial order of seven. Receiving the Hebrew name Yasor, a further 35 helicopter were delivered to fulfill subsequent orders. For several decades, the type has served as the primary cargo helicopters of the IAF, being routinely used to carry both troops and heavy equipment. Replacement options studied included the CH-53K and the CH-47F Chinook, with a prospective order for approximately 20 helicopters being placed for the preferred option. In 1966, the German military evaluated both the CH-53 and CH-47 Chinook as a replacement for the H-21 and H-34G helicopters with an initial requirement for 133. Following the delivery in 1969 of two pre-production helicopters from Sikorsky the production aircraft were licensed built by VFW Fokker at Speyer in Germany. The first German-built CH-53G Mittlerer Transport Hubschrauber helicopter flew from Speyer on of October 1971 and was delivered to the Erprobungstel der Bundeswehr 61 Flight Test Center at Manching on 1 December 1971. 108 helicopters were built in Germany by VFW Fokker. As a result of foreign military operations 20 CH-53G helicopters were converted to perform combat search and rescue missions. On 29 September 2020, the German Ministry of Defense cancelled the Schwerer Transport Hubschrauber heavy lifting helicopter program for 45 to 60 helicopters after the initiative was judged to be too expensive and stated that its CH-53 gigaseconds fleet would be replaced following a period of re-examination. During 1970, 
a pair of S-65C-2 or S-65 O helicopters were delivered to Austria. Intended primarily to perform airborne rescue operations in the Alps, they were assigned to 1st Helicopter Wing of the Austrian Air Force, making the service the second foreign operator of the CH-53. Prior to their delivery in 2005, all helicopters were upgraded to the Yasser 2000 standard. During 2007, the first commercially owned CH-53D was being converted by the Californian company Heavy Lift Helicopters into an firefighting configuration, which was referred to by the firm as the Fire Stallion having acquired a batch of 6X military CH-53Ds, the company planned to make them available for hire by other operators, in addition to firefighting, construction work and general transport duties were envisioned for the fleet. A CH-53GS GE update has also been ordered to provide combat search and rescue capability to 26 helicopters. The CH-53GA helicopter successfully completed its first flight in February 2010. The Yasor 2000 version are helicopters upgraded and improved by the Israel aircraft industries to extend lifespan past 2000. Due to the aircraft's large size and troop capacity, aerial accidents involving CH-53 helicopters have been some of the deadliest helicopter accidents. A system of dampers to prevent rapid correction and thus the heterodyne vibrations, has been installed since on the remaining Yasor helicopters. The 4th of February 1997, two CH-53s collided in the helicopter disaster in Israel. The 28th of November 2008, a CH-53G registrate an 84 plus 36 of the German Army Aviation Corps Medium Helicopter Transport Regiment 25 had a hard landing during an exercise at an altitude of 6,900 feet near Engelberg in the Swiss Alps, injuring one of the six occupants. The dismantling and partial recovery of the helicopter wreckage was completed in June 2009 by helilifting 84 plus 36 slung below her sister 84 plus 32 down to the village of Alpnik.